In this video, we will perform the activity 6.1 from the class 10 science chapter life processes. So let's start the activity. For this, we require an iodine solution, ethanol, a water bath, a variegated leaf. So the first step is to take a potted plant with the variegated leaves. So I have taken here the croton plant. Now next step is to pluck a leaf from the plant and then mark the green areas in it and trace them on a sheet of paper. I have traced it here. The next step is to dip the leaf in a boiling water. So I have just dipped this leaf in this boiling water for few minutes. Now one reasoning question can be framed from this part of an activity that why we are dipping this leaf in a boiling water. What is the role of this boiling water? So boiling water will disturb the cell membrane due to which it softens the cuticle and the cell wall. So after heating for few minutes, we have to place this leaf in a beaker containing alcohol and then also we have to heat it. But we can't heat a beaker containing alcohol directly over the flame because then it will catch us fire. So what we will do, we will take out this leaf and we will place this leaf in a beaker and that beaker is to be placed in a hot water bath and then we will add ethanol into this beaker. So we are not directly heating the alcohol but we are keeping it in hot water bath so that temperature of alcohol will increase and it completely absorb by the leaf. Now the next reason question here why we are putting or boiling this leaf in an alcohol. So what is the role of alcohol here? The alcohol will break down the chlorophyll taking the green color out of the leaf. You can observe here the solution will become slightly green in color here. So when we remove this leaf from this alcohol solution, we can observe that the color of solution now changes. Now it becomes slightly green in color because it contains chlorophyll in it. Now you can observe here, initially the color of solution is transparent but when we have removed the leaf from the solution, it becomes light green in color. Next step is to dip this leaf in an iodine solution, in a very dilute iodine solution. So we are taking here iodine in a beaker and then I will add water into this beaker so that this iodine solution will become dilute. Next step is to dip the leaf in a solution of iodine for few minutes. So I am just placing this leaf in this iodine solution for few minutes. After dipping this leaf in an iodine solution for few minutes, we have to take out this leaf and rinse off all the iodine solution here. So we are just removing this leaf from this iodine solution and rinse off the iodine solution. Now in order to remove the iodine which is stick to the surface of leaf, we are just putting it in the filter paper and then just dipping this leaf in water so that all the iodine which is just attached on the surface of this leaf will be easily removed out. You can observe here. You can observe the color of the leaf and compare this with the tracing of the leaf done in the beginning. You can observe that black color in this leaf is the point where green color is present in the tracing. Now the question arises why this green area in the leaf turn black in color. Now this is because we have dipped this leaf in an iodine solution. Now iodine solution has a property that it is an indicator that turns blue or black in color in the presence of starch. Now in the green area the starch is formed because of photosynthesis but in the yellow area because there is no chlorophyll is present so no photosynthesis will take place. So that is why the green area where starch is formed it turn into black in color whereas the yellow area where is no starch is present it is just changes into a reddish brown in color because that is the color of the iodine solution. So by this activity we concluded that chlorophyll is the necessary requirement for the photosynthesis. Only in the presence of chlorophyll photosynthesis will take place.